Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm back with another apartment renovation and we are renovating 1310 21 Sheik Street in the fashion district of San Machino. And this is going to be another part of my color drenched series where I am basing apartments off of a single color, but I'm allowed to use whatever colors I want in it. But I just really want it to be overwhelmingly one color. We've done quite a few of these so far. I believe we started with teal. I've had a purple one. There has been a yellow one. And today we are tackling the color orange. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how, th with how this apartment came out. I wasn't really sure what the theme was going to be going into it, but it very much became a retro apartment based on the items and swatches that we have in the game in the color of orange. And I'm not mad about it. I think it came out so, so cool in the end. I'm really proud of this one. So if you'd like it as well and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So much like a lot of my builds, I did build this over on Twitch first. So you might recognize it from there if you follow me over there. I am live three to five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Griffey. If you'd like to join us in the future, it's always a lot of fun. And uh, that is where this got started. So it started with the floor plan of almost no floor plan. We just had a spot for a bathroom. And then I end up moving where that bathroom is. And I'm just playing around with swatches and colors here, trying to figure out what I wanted. And I changed the backsplash in this kitchen so many times. Uh, we get there in the end, but it does take quite a few options to figure out what I want there. One thing I was really excited about, though, were the chairs that I used or like the stools that I used at the counter here. Those are from the bowling stuff pack. And I love the bowling stuff pack, but I don't think I've ever used that swatch of those chairs. And it's just so beautiful with the like stripe of orange and the colors. It was just perfect for this apartment. And it was nice to use a swatch that I've never used before. So that's kind of been a theme throughout this entire series. Since I am focusing mainly on one color, I end up using swatches of items or just items in general that I haven't used. And it's really fun because it feels like you're discovering new items in the game, even though they're not new. Uh, but anyway, I did move the bathroom over to be next to the bedroom and that allowed me to fit a office space over on this side of the kitchen. And it just makes the space feel so much more open, inviting uh, and inviting. I don't know why those words <laughs> just kind of melded together there. That happens a lot when doing voiceovers for me anyway. Um, but I was very happy with that. So it didn't feel so closed in. And I also changed the wall color a few different times. Uh, a mixture of this wallpaper, which is from the Basement Treasures kit, as well as a paneling one from the Book Nook kit. And at this point, I'm trying to figure out which couch I want to use. I really liked these two from Seasons and from Growing Together, but I ultimately decided it was more important to me to have this rug. And so a beige couch made more sense. And I wanted to have more space in the living room, so we did shrink down this island here uh, just to make the living room a tad bit bigger. And uh, I think it worked out so, so nicely that way. I felt like the island was too big. I liked it, but it was too big for this space. And then I swapped for this couch, which is so pretty. This one is from Growing Together. It's like a beige, like kind of rounded couch with a couple of reddish orangish pillows. And I thought they were so perfect for this space. And then I just decided to shrink down the bathroom a little bit. So I put the doors in their own little hallway space. I do this a lot in builds. I just think it looks a little bit more tidy and also a bit more realistic. So that's what I opted for. And I got this really beautiful bookcase item, like shelving piece from the uh, Get Famous pack and use that as our TV stand. It really <laughs> shows you the vibe we're going for in this apartment, the rug, the record player, everything. It's just, I was so happy with this. I love this style and I don't build in it that often. Although I have seen some suggestions recently to build some more mid-century inspired things, which is one of my favorite styles. It's just I've done them so many times on the channel that I haven't in a while, but if that is something you'd like to see, definitely let me know and we could probably incorporate some more mid-century builds onto the channel. I'm not complaining at the idea of doing some more of one of my favorite styles, so that could be fun. But anyway, just decorating this little desk area. Uh, this desk is from the Pastel Pop Kit and I actually put this clock from the bowling stuff pack above it. It kind of looks like it's part of the desk and I thought it was really pretty and it's tied in that same sort of like minty color that I have on the cork board over by the kitchen, which I'm decorating now with a couple of postcards. 
Uh, I thought that those colors worked so nicely together and then I just swapped out the plant over here as well. I think that one is from the Blooming Rooms kit if I'm remembering correctly. And I'm still really loving the new like plate rack, drying rack that I have next to the sink. That one is from For Rent and it's just so nice. And this is when I start experimenting some more with the backsplash in this kitchen. I just could not decide for the longest time what I wanted it to be, but I'm pretty sure I kept it with this in the end, which is a tile from the Parenthood game pack. Oh my gosh, all of the different types of packs now. I've been saying this a lot lately, but I just can't remember them all. Like I know what they are, but for some reason the names escape me. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> this is where I'm adding that paneling, which I thought was so perfect for this space. It really brings in more of that retro vibe I was going for. And then I just got a little table by the front door, a place to like throw down your mail and your keys and all of that. And a nice lamp next to the fireplace. And um, I believe I, yeah, I got some more artwork. I decided to swap this out for something else over on the other wall. And I ended up getting a sort of like calendar over here. Uh, this whiteboard piece that is from the Discover University pack. I thought that, that looked pretty nice next to the desk and of course then getting uh, some more plants and I believe I'm about to grab our temperature controls and fire alarm and place those in this space. I thought it was nice to tuck that one away in the hallway and then I also got like a decorative hutch type piece that has uh, like linens and stuff in it. I believe I grabbed one from Ego Lifestyle. Yeah. So I put in this hallway right next to the bathroom. It just filled in the space nicely and made sense for that placement. And then, of course, getting one of the best plants in the game. Uh, I feel like I don't use that one that often, uh, but it does have like a long history on my Twitch channel. That is DJ Plant, if you know, you know. Um, but anyway, I was excited to use that in this apartment. And then I used the one and only bed that made sense for this apartment with the style I was going for, which is, of course, from Get Famous. And I paired it with this really pretty rug from the Werewolves game pack and... Just going to decorate the space. I end up having a couple of uh, like shelves up above the bed that I fill with all sorts of clutter. I use this really pretty side table, which is from, I think that is actually from Tiny Living, the side table that I use there. I use it by the main entryway as well, but it's really nice. I think Tiny Living is such a beautiful stuff pack and it pairs really well with Get Famous and the Bowling Stuff Pack and all of those packs just really go together style-wise. So I used all of them here and many more packs as well. I haven't done a limited pack build in a while. Let me know if there's something like that you would like to see, any packs in particular, uh, because I'd be open to doing that sometime soon. But anyway, uh, just finishing up decorating these shelves. I ended up getting this little butterfly painting. I don't remember the last time I used that. I really wish we had more little like paintings like that that you could put on surfaces that had more patterns to them because we have one that's like a sports team, we have butterflies and then we have an apple and or a pear and that's not too much to work with. So maybe someday we'll get more. I know you can have your Sims take photos in game and like put them on surfaces, but that's that's not really what I mean. I want like more little decorations. I think it'd be really cute to have. Uh, but yeah, for the bedside table, I put some magazines and a place to put your glasses and your watch and all of that. And I got to use one of these gorgeous gorgeous dressers from Get Famous. I don't use them very often because they're very stylized, but since that's what I was going for in this apartment, I was happy to use that in this space and just decorating the walls here with some more artwork. Still trying to keep as much orange in here as possible, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look bad. It's kind of interesting, this series where I'm trying to overwhelmingly use one color, but I still want it to look good. I don't want it to look like somebody just vomited orange all over this apartment. And I think I achieved it. I think it's a really cute apartment and uh, I'd love to know what you're thinking of it. And of course, what color you would like to see next uh, because I have many more colors to go, uh, especially because I feel like we can go back and do additional ones. Like I did a mint colored apartment or like a light, light green, like a soft green. But I feel like I could go back and do a deep foresty green or something like that, but it's still green. Uh, so there's a lot more colors that can be explored. So I'm excited to, to continue these. I think they're a lot of fun and uh, y'all seem to be enjoying them as well. Uh, so I'm sure there will be more in the coming weeks. Uh, but we are into the bathroom now and I finally used this tile that I was trying to use in the kitchen in this space. I think it worked quite nicely. And of course, getting some orange towels and just a couple of decorations here. Uh, all of your like 
necessary items that you would put on a sink in a bathroom. Also, this candle from the the bathroom clutter kit, I didn't realize it came in orange. It was so perfect to put on the back of the toilet. I also got some extra toilet paper there and a little like hand towel by the sink. And I'm pretty sure the last couple things I put in here is like a full length mirror and some extra towels and stuff. <laughs> Just trying to fill up the walls in this space. And that should be pretty much it for this bathroom and for this apartment. I'm trying to think what else I might have added. I'm pretty sure I just kind of pop around the apartment to see if I forgot anything. And then we will be heading on into screenshots. Yeah, here I am just being like, what did I forget in this space? Oh yeah, I got the beautiful light that I put over the counter here, which ends up being this one from Growing Together. I think it is just so perfect for the space. So I was happy that I included that. But with that, we are actually pretty much done with this apartment and actually heading on into screenshots. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy those screenshots. Bye everyone.